Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lawn Reality Show. We're back again now that I'm over my cold and everything's back in order. Today we're going to make a uh, vegan burrito. And got my tofu right here. You want to take and get out some paper towels. I've got my rack right here that I can set my tofu on. Towel underneath it because it's going to drain out a lot of water. And get my bowl here so I can just drain it right here. But, um, so, so, you know, uh, I'm using Nasoya Organic Extra Firm Tofu. This block is a 14 ounce block. So we'll cut that open with this water out of here. <coughs> Get this block out of here. Set our tofu right in the middle. I got scotch tape right here. I think it wrap it up just like this. As you can tell, I don't wrap gifts very well either. I'm definitely not a wrapper. You get it? Definitely not a wrapper. Let turn this fan off. We'll take this end right here. this up Keep it on there Take and set our tofu right here. I'm gonna put our book on top of the tofu. Oh, you can't see that real well. Let me pull that over here. Put our book on, book on top of the tofu. Then I'm gonna set my 20 pound weights on top of my block. What that's gonna do is it's gonna squeeze the water out of the tofu because you wanna squeeze as much water out of the tofu. What, happen, what happens when you squeeze the water out of the tofu? Is that it pushes that water out so that when you're when we're doing our next step and have the tofu cut up and and in the pan uh, frying, well the butter will absorb into the tofu along with the flavor of of all the other stuff that's going to be that the tofu is going to be in with. So we're taking just leave that right there for right now and I'll push it over here so it's out of the way. And you should usually have the tofu set like set like that for about four hours. It's probably good. Um, if you want to get a meatier flavor out of it, you put the tofu in the in the freezer the night before, and then when you come out and it thaws out, take and drain it all out of the all the all the water out of it. And it, it gives it a a more meatier texture. Um, 
right now we'll let that sit and we'll be back when we're ready to do to do the rest of the stuff we're back everyone what we're gonna do now Take and get this tofu ready. Take and undo the tofu mess. What we're going to do is take a cutting board and a tofu and we're going to cut this up into small pieces. We'll be cutting it up a lot thinner than a lot smaller than what we did with the uh, with the other tofu recipe. Don't mean to have so much silence, but in order to get it cut, I want to make sure I don't cut my finger in the process. Bless my soul, what's wrong with me? I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Da -da 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 I'm in love. I'm all sugar. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm all sugar. All right, there's a little action in there. Can't remember the words all song, so gotta go with what I had. Alright, now we're gonna take and turn our frying pan on. I'm gonna take the butter. Now before people was asking about the ingredients of the butter and all that so <coughs> excuse me the ingredients to this is well th this is earth balanced butter it's non-gmo vegan soy free so you can say it says right on it vegan let me stick this right up to the camera so everybody can read that I know that's hard to read right there but that says vegan So I don't have to read the ingredients when it says vegan right on it. So what we're gonna do, take and put our butter in here. I'm not you know using a regular tablespoon, I'm just gonna guess it. Because this is the here the spoon that I have right here is actually pretty much a tablespoon anyway. I'm putting four, oops, four tablespoons in, in there. Slide that out of the way. Yeah. Oh, what do I want to use? Wooden spoon or? I think our own. We'll use a wooden spoon for now. Get that melted. Get 
it's probably four tablespoons actually probably too much probably go with maybe three tablespoons you really don't want that much butter you want to help it out with the taste some but that's it's quite a bit of butter but sorry so it'll still taste good and we're going to put our tofu in here Stir that around. Get it all broken up and everything. Don't want it sticking together too much. I am. Actually, I guess once you put the tofu, get the tofu in there, I guess four tablespoons really is pretty much what you want to use. That's going to the tofu in there and it'll absorb into it and cutting all this up get it separated do is we want to just make it so this is brown kind of medium brown that's what's all being done being broke up We get our our whole type of guacamole I'm using on this is whole. It's called holy guacamole. It's all natural and it's classic. Says right on it, classic guy. Put up the camera so everyone, everyone can see it. This here is all, it's literally all natural. The ingredients are pies, avocados, vinegar, jalapeno pepper, dehydrated onions, salt, and granulated garlic. So it's literally all natural. If I can get this open. What this is going to do is it's going to help help it all uh, along with the taste. It's also going to help it stick to the tortilla shell. Now this is this also you can also use this uh, for a taco too. Use the same ingredients for a taco. As a warning to everybody, I have not I'm not big on burritos. I've never 
tried this burrito before, so this is going to be my first time trying this. So we'll see how I like it. Salsa, I'm not real big on salsa either. So the only thing I'm actually really big on that's going into this is, or that, that I like, is the cheese, the shell, and the tofu. So we'll see how this all pans out for me. watching a thing on TV about Saturday Night Fever and that was the anniversary of Saturday Night Fever and I used to, I used to like the Bee Gees quite a bit especially Andy Gibb, he was a really good singer the song he sang with Olivia Newton-John How Deep Is Your Love, I love that song With you rise in the morning sun I feel you touch me in the pouring rain and the moment that you wander far from me, I want to feel you in my arms again. Oh, oh yeah, there's nothing again. Waiting on the tofu to be done. So we'll take a little pause right here and be back when the tofu is done. Back again. Tofu was done. And this is what you want it to look like. And by the way, I was wrong on that song um, by Andy Gibbs, How Deep Is Your Love. Olivia Newton does not sing that song with him. She sings the song suddenly with Andy Gibbs. And I like that song also. But that right there is how dark you want it to look. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some of our tofu, spread it on the, the shell. And yeah, I put my shell on a plate because when I taste it, if any of the salsa drips out, I want it to land on a plate. Get that in there. And then you're going to give me a spoon. Oh, got one right there, but we'll use a clean one. And yes, people, I realize I coughed a couple times. I'm still hanging on to a little, little cold, so forgive me. It doesn't bother me because I'm the only one eating this right here. We'll take and put some salsa on here. I know I notice how people are criticizing small things that I do. Uh, I'm not a professional at this. I'm just enjoying it. And I hope everybody realizes that. This is a fun thing for me to do. There's a salsa. 
we're going to take and use a little bit of diet cheese. Diet cheese is dairy free. And it's dairy, lactose and, and casein free, gluten and soy free, cholesterol free. The ingredients in, the, in this diet cheese is filtered water, tapioca flour, non-GMO expeller pressure canola and or non-GMO expeller pressed safflower oil, coconut oil, pea protein, salt, inactive yeast, vegan natural flavors, vegetable glycerin, xanthan gum, yeast extract, citric acid, anato for color, titanium dioxide, a naturally occurring mineral. So this right here, this cheese right here, it is, it's vegan cheese. I know, I know the camera's probably reading it backwards, so you'll have to read it backwards. But it's, it's called Daya. So we're going to take the spread some cheese over the top of this. You can melt this if you want to. Just put it in the microwave for 20, 20 seconds or so. You can melt the cheese. Uh, before you put it, you can put the guacamole on. You can put the cheese on the shell and put it in the microwave for 20, 20 30 seconds and, and melt it. And that will help everything stick to the, to the, uh, the shell. Now, I'm, I'm putting a little extra cheese because... I know there's stuff in there that I'm not big on. And guacamole, I'm, this is my first time trying any, any guacamole at all. So, so, I've got all that. Got my glass of fruit juice right here. I'll take a roll this up. This is a big burrito. I think I might have put too much stuff in it, but, oh well. Let's give her a whirl. It's already falling apart on me. I'm not a professional burrito either, either, either. either. Hmm. Grab a pit towel here. Now I don't like normally I don't like some of the stuff that's in there, but that's actually pretty good. I guess that's what I'm gonna be eating. Well until it's gone. Yeah, I'm surprised that I like that. It's very good. That's it for this week's show, everyone. Next week, um, not sure what next week, next week's show is going to consist of yet. But I guess we'll all find out next week. Thank you, and I'm happy to be back doing shows again. It seems like I've lost my voice before. At least now i got it back. I can do it again. So we'll see you on next week's show.